What is up YouTube? For today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've been meaning to do for the Evo for the longest time. And that is remove the bubbling tint that's on there. Because ever since I got the car, three-ish, yeah, three-ish years ago, uh, it came with tint. And since day one, it was already bubbling. And since, well, three years later in the Miami heat, uh, it's gotten worse. So, I'm going to take this nice Sunday day, Sunday I'm going to take this nice sunny Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to take this night. Some nice hot Sunday. So I'm going to take this nice hot Sunday to remove this tent. So I left the Evo sitting outside for about an hour. It's really hot. That's going to be enough to soften up some of the, the glue that's in the tent. Alright, so hopefully you can see that it is rippling all throughout the window. And there's even a huge oh, straight bubble there on the inside. You can see that it's pretty bad. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. So, this should be good to take out. Um, I'm not sure if I'll take out the door. The door cards or not, but we'll see. Probably not. I'll probably just leave it in. I'll probably put some paper towels or something down here just to let, just to protect this a bit more. And if you can see the other side, it's, it's the same way really. So I'm going to be taking out these four windows here. I'm going to leave the rear window because there's nothing absolutely wrong with it. And I'm going to leave the banner in the front for now. And I'll drive like this for a bit until I find a good uh, tent shop down here. And once I do, I will reinstall, or get the tents installed for the Evo. So the things you're going to need is um, Windex for any residue that's left on the windows, X-Acto knife, and a heat gun to heat the edges of the, of the window to release the tent. Where is my heat gun? my heat gun. So what I'm going to do is heat the edges of the window and using the razor peel out the edges and then work my way from the edges towards the inside while, while peeling it all out. So let's get started. So what's up guys, so here I am, I'm in this point of the removal, as you can see, I used, well I used the trash bag method, which is, it requires you to spray everything down with ammonia based window cleaner, and then you slap a trash bag up against it, press it up against it, and you leave it in the sun and you let it cook, and then once it's cooked, you come back in and you peel it all together, the trash bag and the tent comes off all together, and it did. And it didn't leave any residue at all. But the tint was already in shoddy shape. So it was separating instantly. So now what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning up all the edges. I'm respraying everything down. Letting the Miami heat and ammonia do its thing again. And I'm going to continue to peel this. Because yesterday unfortunately it started to rain as soon as I started. And I dropped the temperature down and I couldn't do anything outside. So it was a mission. So I said, screw it, we postpone it to the next day. So here's where I'm at now. And as you can see, I started with the hardest window. Because this window isn't that bad. It does have its, its edges where it's fringing all nasty. But it looks like it's a different tint. Like the front two windows, the banner and the rear window, the tint is a different shade and it, it feels different. This one on the side feels different also. Like it's a different shade as you can see, maybe maybe the camera picks it up. It's a different shade. And it's also a different shade from the rear panel window. Uh, which lets me to believe that they redid this window somewhere else than they did the whole car. Because the back window's perfectly fine, panel's fine. And yeah, so this one just looks different. Same thing with this one. And since they're rippling really nasty, I'm gonna assume that they use really cheap quality tint on those two windows. So, which is why it's like separating instantly and just flaking off when you try to remove it. 
So yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna respray the whole thing down because I'm since I am using the ammonia-based window cleaner just for the, uh, the ammonia component so it, it can penetrate the glue and the tins and everything. I removed the door card because it is a Mitsubishi plastic and they're not necessarily the greatest of plastics. So I'm gonna protect it as best as I can. So I took off the card. And anything that does drip down, it'll drip down through here and just end up somewhere, somewhere down there and dry up. So it won't, it won't mess anything up there. So yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated as soon as I get more of this crap off. All right, y'all. After struggling with this window, she is done, nice and clean. Um, I didn't want to have to take it to this method, but I had to get a scraper. And I can't find it now. I think I'm sitting on it. Uh, somewhere around here. Either way, I had to get a scraper. Just because the tint was so worn down. Here we go. This is, this is the scraper I found. I couldn't find my original one, which is a little wider than this one. But whatever, I just went to Walmart, picked it up for a couple bucks. It did what it had to do. Um, yeah, so... The actual tint itself was the problem, not necessarily the removal uh, method. The tint was just so old that regardless of what type of, like the small amount of pressure or hard pressure or wet or dry, it will, it will still flake off after this much pulling. And even then I would try, I, I tried different methods. I tried going basic 50% angle, oh, those uh, 50, 50 degree angle and then I did a 70 degree angle and then I went extreme acute angles trying to pull it off and in every way shape or form it kept breaking so I had to resort to the old 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 method of removal which is scraper Windex with ammonia and the hot 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 sun so yeah so that difficult window is out so that Pretty much the only one that I know is going to give me trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the others. And we should be good with those. So catch you later. Alright everybody, what's up? So now, as you can see, we are indoors. Mainly because it is way too hot outside. So yeah, so I brought it in and I'm just doing the old heat gun wear. And the second window came out fairly easy. Um, I was actually correct. And assuming that the tint on the side was different, because this tint is a whole lot different than the other tint. Uh, I did not separate at all, it just left a little bit more glue on the window, which I'm removing now. But all in all, it's done. I'm on to the next ones. It does not look that bad. All oh, that noticeable, really. That the tint is not there. It's kind of nice because. You can see that it's not purple. Sorry, it's not loud. But you can see that it's not. It doesn't look that bad, to be honest. 